Babe. What? Oh. <laughs> Ew. That was almost good because it wasn't planned. Yeah, that was good. I mean, like, I actually totally forgot. Like, I, I, I thought... Dude, can, can, wait, can, you, can you just show us again no, real wait, quick wait. what what the fuck this no, is fuck here? You. What is that? What is that shit? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh! Sammy, stop! A guy on OkCupid sent me an emoji as an opening line. Not a cute one, not like a heart or a kissy face or even an eggplant, which is gross, but I get it. <laughs> he sent me one of these. <laughs> and I responded, because I was like, I gotta make sure this guy doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> so I wrote back and I said, does this work for you? Do people respond because they're confused? Are you negging me? What's happening here? And he goes, well, the way a woman responds to the emoji tells me a lot about her character. <laughs> and I said, all right, Detective Douche Rocket. <laughs> what does my response tell you about my character? And he goes, well, it tells me you're really transparent, honesty super important to you, and you have trouble trusting people. That emoji works. <laughs> I was on a date the other night, and he goes, wow. And I go, you can really dance. <laughs> he had no idea what I was talking about. He went, huh, huh, huh. I went, yeah, ah, ah. And that's when I said, I'm on TikTok too much. So apparently people think that I'm a shitty person because of what I post on TikTok, right? But what they don't understand is, that's just a character. I'm actually a really nice guy in can real life. help me with the groceries? Can you get fucked? I'm making a TikTok. You're such an asshole. Fuck you, bitch. At least I don't look like the girls on page 74 of Cornhub. Take some of that makeup off. I've seen houses with less foundation. If you touch that again, I shall kill you right now. Okay. Do not touch this. This is a no touching zone. Good. Well then, oh, oh my God. I can't believe you reached across like that again. I can't even believe it. Don't cross this line with your hand. Here's a good one for you. You were born in the 70s. Raised in the 80s, groomed in the 90s, and made it to 2020? You have lived in five different decades, two different centuries, two different millennia, and the kicker is, you're not even 50 yet. As the meat, the meat, pipe down, girl, but it take a seat. I can take your mans if I want to, but lucky for you, I don't want to. I can take your mans if I want to, but lucky for you, I don't want to. Why play tag when you know I'm it? You already lost, should've known to quit. Life's a game and you're taking L's. Your man don't even like the way your coochie smells. Uh, not Mickey D's, but he's loving it. Loving it. Tall glass of water, gotta take a sip. Call him Arby's cause he has the meat. The meat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new chug challenge. I want you to take a soda of your choice. I'm using Diet Dr. Pepper. You can use whatever soda you want. Try to beat me in a chugging challenge. Okay. I'm the fastest chug, as you can see. We'll start whenever I say go. Three, two, one, go. That wasn't even planned. Try to beat me. See how this goes. Hey. We're going door to door taking requests. Is there anything you want to hear? Oh gosh, great, Rob. Anything requests? you want to hear? Yeah. Oh wow. Um, we love Thomas Rhett. You know any Thomas Rhett? I know some old Thomas Rhett. Is that okay? That'd awesome. be great. You make me want to pull this truck to the side of the road. Slide on over, let me hold you close. You everything I'm thinking. Hop on out, let the tailgate fall. Yo, does anyone else have no friends that they just like 
go to like wherever and then just sit there by themselves. I take you to the candy shop. Well, I was applying for Australian citizenship the other day, right? And they asked me if I had a criminal record. I told them I didn't even know that was still a requirement, but I could but try to- you can't to... even leave the province. How the fuck are you going to move to the other side of the planet? Fuck you, bud. I'm just trying to get as far away from your bitch ass as possible. Your mom did so many drugs when she was pregnant that your birthstone's crystal meth. Fuck you, buddy. You want this job or not? Fuck no. I fucking hate working here. You're such a piece of shit that every time you call an Uber, a fucking garbage truck shows up. Sean, sing that song for me. What song? The one that, if the world was ending, you come over, right? you come over and you'd stay the night Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant If the world was ending Oh my gosh, <laughs> what are you doing? Killing it. To the one person who commented that I would look good with a shaved head You're playing with fire. I've had a bad week. I'll fucking do it. Fucking buddy comes over to my place the other night and he's like, You wanna go out for a rip? And I was like, Fucking right. Yeah. So we hop in the truck and hit the mud and I was like, Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Round two. Yulia. <laughs>